Hello everyone, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the 2020 electoral map according to Real Clear Politics' polling averages in all of the key battleground states, as you see in gray here. I've labeled all of these safe or relatively safe states for either party, and these states that haven't really seen a lot of an, enough polling data done to classify as anything other than safe for a particular party. So without further ado, let's get right into classifying all of these states as either tilt, lean, or likely based on the polling averages within that state, starting out in the state of Nevada. Funnily enough, this is the one state where I actually think Joe Biden is underperforming right now, where he really should be in the polls. He is only plus four in the state of Nevada, which is enough for a lean classification, but by all standards, I think most people would expect Joe Biden to do better than plus four in the state of Nevada, especially once you see his uh, performances in a lot of other states as we go along. So that is one thing to keep in mind. However, in the state of Arizona, Biden is plus three, which is also enough for a lean uh, classification in the state of Arizona. So Nevada and Arizona are both lean for Joe Biden. Keep in mind, Arizona is trending heavily more Democratic. I don't think he's necessarily plus three at this moment. Uh, keep in mind as we do go throughout this entire video, this is the peak for the Joe Biden campaign right now. By all uh, measures and estimations, this is as good as he is going to be uh, nationwide. He's polling around, on average, about 8 to 10 points ahead of Donald Trump nationally. I don't expect that to get any larger than it is right now, given that Donald Trump's uh, approval ratings are dropping across the country and uh, his support in key demographics uh, across the board is really uh, crumbling. Uh, in a lot of polls nationwide. So that, that is another thing to keep in mind as we head throughout this entire thing. This is basically the best that the Joe Biden campaign is ever going to look in the 2020 electoral map. Do not expect this the final result of this map to be what we see in November. However, moving on to the state of Texas, it is plus two right now in favor of Donald Trump, which is enough for a uh, tilt margin for uh, Donald Trump in the state of Texas. The president is obviously losing support in key demographics such as obviously minority voters which are prevalent in the state of texas as well as among women where his support has absolutely crumbled in recent weeks especially in the past few days in the recent approval polls moving on now to the state of florida as things stand right now joe biden is plus three in the state of florida which is enough for a lean in favor of the democrats uh, as things stand right now, now keep in mind, there is a very, very low chance that Joe Biden wins in the state of Florida by three or more points. Uh, as I've said previously, I do expect Florida to go to either party by less than a point, uh, 1.5 points at most for either party. Uh, a lot of people want to say that Florida is trending a lot more conservative, uh, to which I agree to some extent. However, if uh, political uh, trends continue as they do right now and polling trends continue as they do uh, or as they have in these recent weeks. Uh, we could see Joe Biden actually take the state of Florida uh, contrary to a lot of public opinion that has uh, Florida and most of the southern states going to the Republican Party. So we'll see what happens in the state of Florida, but it is very much a toss up in my book. Uh, if anything, it is a t slight, very marginal, slight tilt to the Republicans as things stand right now. Moving on to the uh, Georgia polling averages, they have uh, Donald Trump plus six right now. And not, not a lot of polls have actually been conducted in the state of Georgia, or not a lot of credible uh, polls have been conducted in the state of Georgia. And thus we only have a plus six in favor of Donald Trump when I actually do believe if more poll, if more credible and uh, recognized polls were conducted in Georgia, we could see this state become much more of a toss up between the two candidates in the polls. Uh, given that tech, we see Texas at plus two for Donald Trump. I actually think Georgia's is a little bit more likely to go to the Democrats than Texas is as things stand right now. But according to polls, uh, it is a lean in favor of the Democrats. Moving on to the state of North Carolina, as things stand right at this instant, the Republicans hold a plus 0.3 advantage in the state of North Carolina, making it a tilt in favor of the party and for Donald Trump. Now, uh, this is really, really interesting because a lot of people are seeing North Carolina trend more and more blue, both in the presidential uh, race and in the Senate race between Cal Cunningham and Tom Tillis. However, the polling is 
dead even. Uh, some polls have Biden ahead, some polls have Trump ahead, and on average, Trump is ahead by a slight 0.3 margin, which goes to uh, make me believe that this is actually a good sign for the Donald Trump campaign that in all of the with all of the negative uh, press and the negative um, public opinion and approval polls of Donald Trump at this moment, he still is uh, slightly ahead in the state of North Carolina, which will be crucial. Uh, in November. It's a good sign for the Donald Trump campaign. However, I do believe that North Carolina is effectively a toss-up as things stand right now. Moving on to Virginia, uh, we have plus 10 in favor of Joe Biden there, which is enough for a likely margin. Uh, I don't expect Virginia to be very close in this 2020 election now. Then again, obviously, it, was, it used to be a, a heavy red state, but obviously in the past uh, 15 to 10 years, it has changed drastically in the state and now the democrats hold basically every single elected office uh, that you can think of that really matters in the state of virginia or at least hold control of every elected office state legislator senate governor uh, presidential elections to all of that uh, so that is in the state of virginia as things stand right now plus 10 in favor of joe biden as for the state of pennsylvania plus three in favor of joe biden which is enough for a lean margin there as well uh, it's Biden's home state, and I do expect him to be able to flip it in the November election. Um, not necessarily by plus three points, but uh, if, I were, if I had to bet on a certain candidate winning the state of Pennsylvania, as things stand right now, it would have to be Joe Biden. Same goes for the state of Pennsylvania, another state that I do believe he will, I mean, Michigan, that is, another state that I do believe he will flip. He's plus seven right now in the state of Mich Michigan, which is a a very convincing margin, um, almost enough for a likely uh, uh, margin of lead in the state of Michigan. Obviously, uh, Michigan and Pennsylvania are states that are used to uh, voting for Democrats. There are more de registered, far more actually, registered Democrats in the states, and in an increase in turnout with a mail mail in voting, or even with an increase uh, turnout from minorities and Democrats alike um, in an anti-Trump election. Uh, for the Democrats, that is. I do believe that Michigan and Pennsylvania could go to Joe Biden by margins that I don't think a lot of people would necessarily expect, given that they went to the Republican Party in 2016. Uh, as for the state of Ohio right now, this is interesting. Joe Biden is actually leading by plus one, exactly plus one in polling averages in the state of Ohio. Now, do I believe that the state of Ohio will go to the Democrats? Absolutely not. I do not believe that is going to happen. Will it be closer than in 2016? Yes, I do. I do see uh, in most uh, areas across the country that races will be more in favor of the Democrats than they were in 2016. Obviously, Trump won in the state by eight points. Uh, in 2016, I could see it coming down to a margin of five, six, maybe uh, at the most four or so points in favor of the Republican Party. But I do not expect the polling uh, data in Ohio to hold up by November, and I do expect the uh, Republicans to win in the state of Ohio. Now, as for the state of Iowa, the Republicans are ahead plus five as things stand right now, which is enough for a lean margin in favor of the Republicans in the state of Ohio. Now, this is more what I would have expected out of Ohio's polling averages. Iowa and Ohio are on very similar trajectories in their political uh, spectrums across the state. Um, two states that went to Obama in 2008 and 2012 but voted for Donald Trump in 2016 by margins nobody was really expecting. Uh, now, this is obviously a trend of, across uh, much of the uh, upper North, uh, Rust Belt and in the lower Rust Belt, but uh, we don't. I don't expect uh, Ohio, Iowa or Ohio to go to the Democrats in this election. I do expect uh, it to be around a plus five, which is where Donald Trump is at uh, in the polling averages in the state of Ohio. As I said previously, I do think that the uh, margin of victory for Donald Trump will lower from 2016 to 2020 in uh, Iowa, Ohio, and all across the Rust Belt. Uh, and you can make a case for all across the country that will in all likelihood happen. Now, does, is that saying that Joe Biden is certain to win this election? Absolutely not. Uh, this is a very tough election to call, but I do not expect Joe Biden to do worse than Hillary Clinton did in 2016. Now, saying that, moving on to the state of Minnesota, as things stand right now, uh, Joe Biden has a plus nine lead in the state of Minnesota, which is enough for a likely margin in his column. Uh, Minnesota, obviously the epicenter of all the uh, mass protests and racial uh, injustice 
protests going across uh, the country at the moment. Uh, any chance that Donald Trump had of flipping the state of Minnesota from 2016 in his favor in 2020 is effectively out of the window. Uh, obviously, Hillary Clinton won by about four points in 2016. I do think Joe Biden could easily double that margin and win by eight, maybe nine points in the state of Minnesota. Now, moving on to the state of Wisconsin. Uh, Donald Trump is up plus three points right now in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, a lot of people will classify the state of Wisconsin as the most uh, competitive state in the 2020 election, maybe uh, the most crucial state, uh, the the tightest and the most competitive uh, toss-up state in, across the country. Uh, that very well could be the case in Wisconsin. Obviously, uh, Joe Biden plus three is not necessarily uh, indicative of a uh, November uh, election results in the state, but uh, it a lot of people want to say that Wisconsin is a surefire thing for the Republicans, and that is just not something that I see whatsoever. I think was, uh, seeing Wisconsin as a state that has typically voted for Democratic candidates in presidential years, years leading up to the 2016 election, um, it's, it's not as conservative of a state as many people uh, want to paint it out to be. Uh, now, do I believe right now that Joe Biden will win the state of Wisconsin? Probably not. Um, if, if anything, I would have to classify it as a tilt in favor of the Republicans. Um, but in all honesty, it is really just an effective toss up right now, especially given all um, of the uh, collapse in polling numbers and in presidential approval polls for Donald Trump. And finally, to close out the video, the state of New Hampshire, where uh, Joe Biden is up plus five right now, according to the Real Clear Politics polling averages. Uh, in New Hampshire, he will uh, in all likelihood win. Uh, it was one of the closest uh, margins of victory for Hillary Clinton in 2016. I don't expect it to be as close as it was in 2016, uh, but it's still a, a state to take note of in polling averages. Obviously, it's, it doesn't have that huge electoral count as some of the other states or as most of the other uh, key swing states do, but it's still a, an interesting state to look at uh, given that it was in large part uh, overlooked in the 2016 election as a as a very competitive swing state and so that is all for today's video uh, i hope you all enjoyed obviously i don't believe that joe biden will win by this electoral margin nationwide i don't think he'll get anywhere close to 336 electoral votes unless um this uh, political and societal unrest uh, continues into the into November, which is unlikely but possible. So we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, everything is a prediction right now, but this is based on the Real Clear Politics polling averages in battleground states across the country right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, tune in next time.